Hey guys, it's Koi from Gent Within, and this video is a review and try on haul of Outer Known, a handful of their best selling pieces, and a few which I've had for several years now. OK is known for sustainable style, but how's the fit? Let's find out. First, a quick background on Outer Known. They are an American-based brand founded by legendary surfer Kelly Slater. The company's ethos is based around creating great clothes with a radical commitment to sustainability and that you don't have to compromise on sustainability or style. As for their sustainability, in a nutshell, for one, 90% of their fibers are organically sourced, recycled, or regenerated. Secondly, 100% of their swim trunks are made with recycled or renewable fibers. And third, they are a fair trade USA partner, investing in the livelihoods of over 5,000 workers. All that's amazing and important as ever today, but what's equally important is how the clothes fit, because after all, fit is king. So with that being said, let's get started. So first up, we've got the Sir sweatshirt in the Admiral Blue color. The first thing you'll notice about this sweatshirt is the slightly oversized fit and the vintage washed appearance. It's a classic fit and so it's not meant to be form fitting. Currently outer known smalls run a little bit big on my 5'6", 130 frame. It's not too oversized though, in fact I don't mind it and prefer a looser drape for this particular style. I ran it through the wash and dryer on high heat, no problem and no shrinkage so keep that in mind. You may or may not like the classic sizing. It all depends on how you rock your fits. For some details, the shirt is made of a French terry blend of 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton. It also has an athletic inspired raglan sleeves. All in all, the Sir sweatshirt feels as comfortable as it looks, though it's not the softest fabric. The material, however, is thick and has weight to it. It's definitely a heavier duty sweatshirt rugged and casual enough for home or the streets. This current style is on final sale, so it's about 40% off at the moment. I like this blue, but they've got seven other stylish colors to choose from in addition to the essential heather gray. And now moving on to the Summit Puffer Vest. All men need a lightweight, packable, and warm puffer in their casual style rotation. Outer Known's Summit Puffer is exactly that. It's not the lightest puffer out there at 700 fill power, so there is a nice down fill, but it's still rather light nonetheless and easily rolled up. Size small is a bit oversized for my taste, and it'd be nice if it came with a small packable bag like Uniqlo's Down, especially considering the more premium price here. But I do love a good puffer vest as a layering piece. Although it's not quite as stylish as the lightweight J. Crew Sussex quilted vest or the J. Crew Factory Walker vest, it's certainly designed to keep you warmer. While I like the retro colors of the variant, I feel that the duo tone of the blue and ochre here makes for a more versatile pairing. If you want to shorten the vest or create a more form fitting aesthetic, there are draw cords at the bottom to cinch it in, and they're actually quite effective. Additionally, the pockets are lined with fleece which is the nice touch of luxe and added warmth. The shell is 100% recycled polyester and it's filled with 100% responsible down standard gray duck down. Say that five times. So like the sweatshirt, the puffer is on final sale at 40% off. Unfortunately, this color in Sapia Marine is out of stock, but they still have the Sand Harvest variant in most sizes. Next up, we've got what is essentially the Sir sweatshirt, but the hoodie variant in a faded black color. This is Outer Known's modified take on the classic hoodie. You'll notice that there are no strings for the hood. Instead, there's a snap closure at the neck and there are on seam pockets on the side instead of a typical pouch. The Sir Snap Hoodie's fit is similar to the Sir Sweatshirt. It comes oversized at size small here. While I personally don't mind it at all, I'm actually digging the oversized look here. It's garment dyed and so it has a lived in feel as well. The faded black is more like a gray at this point. Just like the sweatshirt, it's made with a hemp and organic cotton blend French terry that's not the softest material. I also ran this through the washer and dryer and it didn't shrink at all. So if you're relying on that, know that these are already pre-shrunk. The hoodie is also currently on final sale at 40% off. Now on to the blanket shirt, Outer Known's best-selling style of all time. And I can see why. Who doesn't love a warm, cozy, and stylish overshirt? 
The first thing you notice when trying it on is how heavyweight it actually is. It's an aptly named product. This one is in their dusty red Cusco plaid color, but I like to call it the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. It's certainly more rugged than the other pieces and looser fitting as well, since it's a relaxed fit after all. An extra small would really come in handy here because the sleeves are pretty long, but when I cuff them up, it ain't so bad. While it's not sloppy, the shirt is a little bit too big for my taste, even though it's meant to be oversized. I guess that's where the comfort comes in. If you're around my height and you don't mind sacrificing style for comfort, then you're gonna love this shirt. The blanket shirt has two oversized front chest pockets and has natural buttons made from nuts. And the fabric is 100% organic cotton. Keep in mind that after a wash and dry cycle, it didn't shrink. They currently carry a whopping 31 different colors with mainly plaid and check patterns, in addition to some solids. Coming in at $148, it ain't cheap, but I think it's certainly worth the investment. Next up is the Apollo sweater in Heather Gray, which I bought a good three to four years ago now, back when I first discovered Outer Known. They've grown a lot since then. This exact sweater isn't in stock any longer, and it's had a stranglehold on my sweater weather rotation. Perhaps my favorite thing about it is the rolled collar and the rolled pocket. It's a subtle, stylish detail that distinguishes it from other crew necks. It has a 70% wool, 30% cashmere make, and so the material is super soft and pretty lightweight. You'll notice this sweater is more fitted than the others. That's because this is an extra small. It looks like they don't carry many extra small sizes these days, but I hope that changes because this sweater fit is pretty on point, but the only exception that it runs a little bit long. All in all, I love wearing this sweater casually over top of an undershirt to avoid the itch or over a button up shirt for a more refined look. Either way, it's hard to go wrong with a Heather Gray crew neck sweater and the wool cashmere blend is an added luxe bonus. And now we've got the organic cotton zip hoodie in blue. So I picked up this hoodie at the same time I got the previous sweater first thing you'll notice is that it's much more fitted than the oversized Sir hoodie. Again, this is a size extra small back when they carried them. It has a similar raglan sleeves as the Sir sweatshirt, and it has a 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton construction, and the material does have some heft to it. While it does appear lightweight, it's heavier than it looks. All in all, this zip hoodie is quite stylish. I'm feeling the double zip build and the casual side pockets as well as the oversized hood as it looks great up or down. Finally moving on to the Outer Knowns C Jeans SEA, which is among their best sellers. This pair is a size 2930 in their worn indigo wash. It's made with a mid-weight 12 ounce organic cotton. There's a bit of stretch but nothing great and it pales in comparison to American Eagles, Flex Stretch or the Express Hyper Stretch jeans. They could improve the comfort by adding a little bit more stretch here in my opinion. As for the fit, it's a slim and it fits as a modern slim fit should. It tapers a bit towards the ankle and has a 14 inch leg opening. The wash is worn in and there's some whiskering here as well which is pretty on trend. The jeans have a zipper fly and so no button messes to deal with. They're guaranteed for life and is sewn in a fair trade certified facility. Unfortunately, they only come in inseams of 30, 32, and 34. And so a 28 would have been clutch here. So it looks like I'll be rolling these up. But all in all, the jeans are solid. A bit pricey though, but the transparency is nice. And last up, we've got the Outer Known Swim Trunks. So I almost forgot that this brand started out as a surfer brand founded by one of the greatest surfers of all time, Kelly Slater. So I picked up these swim trunks a few years back when I got the sweater and the hoodie. And maybe I need more leg days, but I don't like the wider leg opening of these shorts, especially considering how short they are. I prefer swim trunks with a bit more of a taper instead of flaring out like these ones. Aside from the fit though, the material feels pretty good. There's netting on the inside as all traditional swim trunks should have. There's drawstrings to tighten at the waist so there are no mishaps in the water, along with a fly zip and button closure. It's a pretty minimal swim trunk, no side pockets, only a single back pocket on the right side, and they do have some great styles and designs, but these shorts are on the pricier end for swim trunks in my opinion. If I had my choice, I'd probably go elsewhere for my swimwear. So in closing, I've always liked Outer Noon since I first bought their hoodie, their sweater, and swim trunks back in 2018. 
I'm impressed with how quickly they've grown and expanded their collection to include highly wearable, stylish, and sometimes rugged staples for both men and women. Additionally, they've got a mission and a vision per their 2030 roadmap on sustainability strategy and commitment to circularity, which is quite admirable. I'll link a PDF to that down in the description just in case anyone's curious about that. From the looks of things, they not only talk the talk, but they're walking it too. I hope you enjoyed this review and try on haul of Outer Known. If you liked it, go ahead and lately tap that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. I've got another video for you here and right here. So go and check one of those out. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.